Hello everyone, my name is Ashwin and welcome back to this video series on transitioning from SOLIDWORKS to AR using Zapworks. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about a few plugin requirements for SOLIDWORKS uh, to name uh, it exactly, the SimLab plugin that converts a SOLIDWORKS model or assembly into a GLTF format. Let's dive in and take a look at it. I have a window open here where we're gonna search for SimLab. SimLab. All right, so go on to the second option, SimLab Soft for VR. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Um, you can see they have quite a few plugins for Creo, SolidWorks, Solid Edge, AutoCAD, and whatnot. We need SolidWorks, so let's go ahead and click on SolidWorks. Um, they have a number of exporters that are available. Uh, as I was talking about earlier, we need the GLTF exporter. Let's go for that. Um, you can see in this page that they have a download for Windows 64-bit systems and this is a trial license that you will have to get when you get the trial license which is free uh it works for 30 times or for two weeks whichever comes first right and after that you will be able to buy it for uh, 199 dollars or a floating license for 399 now this works as they have mentioned from SOLIDWORKS 2013 to 21. So that's a large range of support that you get over there. Um, let's go ahead and download it. So when you download, it does prompt you to download a EXE file. Um, you can just go ahead and hit save and it will automatically download it for you. It's a very simple installation file um and it's pretty straightforward stay with the defaults and you should be able to directly install it on your computer so let's go through that let's say you have this keep hitting next right i already have it installed on my computer so i'm going to hit cancel at this point um, but for fresh installation, you will be able to entirely install the software on your computer. Now, once you have installed it, you can open up SOLIDWORKS. I have 2020, of course, they do support 2013 and above till 2021. So you should be good if you have one of those versions. Hmm. Let's wait for it to load. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to open up an, a blank file just to show you how the exporter looks. Um, once we open up a blank file, you should see these options over here. So you have export to GLTF, export animation, settings. So you can, of course, always go into settings and play around with uh, a number of products. So you can see that mine is a trial version and I have 19 exports left or seven days left on my update. And after that, I will have to buy this exporter. Now, um let's take a look at exporting an animation from solidworks into one of these platforms so what i do have over here is i have grabcad opened up and you can see that i have a lot of files already done made for me um this looks interesting let's take a look all right so we have the four cylinder animation that you can follow along i'll leave a link in the description for this uh, as well so that you can 
download it and follow along side me what does this file have so when i hit download files um, you can see that i already have it downloaded over here so we're not going to do that but of course you can hit download that is something that i noticed with this file um that we will have to do okay once it's completely extracted you can just open the final assembly that you have over here so go ahead double click on it and it should automatically open up in solidworks and there you have it that is your assembly you can take a look around the assembly see it's pretty well done um kudos to the person who did this uh let's go into motion study since we need the animation and let's take a look at what the animation is there you go this is an animation that has been done in um solidworks so you have the motion study completed let's take a look at how we are going to export this into a gldf format right i'm going to stop the animation first and say export animation Let's see how it works. Now, what the exporter does is it reads every single frame of the animation. And it's going to take a while because it is a big animation, as we can see, of 20 seconds. We're going to let it go through the whole 20 seconds at its own pace. You do have another option right here to export to GLTF. What this option does is it exports the current frame alone as a solid model. So you do not get the animation in this. You only get the file that is available to you. So let's allow this to completely export the animation and come back to doing what we were doing. While it exports, we're going to talk a bit about Zapworks, right? The other software that we require. So Zapworks 3D, I'm going to search for Zapworks and you can go into Zapworks. Zapworks Studio has uh, been around for a while and it allows you, as you can see, to completely take your objects, 3D models into AR and walk around the, these objects. Uh, what we are going to use for this uh, tutorial is first of all, Zapbox Studio. We can go into Zapbox Studio and directly hit download studio. You will have to sign up for it and it gives you a download link. Uh, you can choose what platform you want it in. You can go ahead and uh, do this. I have a couple of accounts here. I'm going to sign in to Zapwork. And um, you see, uh, they have Zapwork Studio 6. Um, once you click on it, they have platforms that are available for both Mac as well as Windows. Download whichever platform you need. And it's a pretty straightforward installation once again, and you will be able to open Zapworks. More about that uh, in a future video. Let's take a look of whether this is completed. Yep, almost done. There we go. We can see that it has finished converting it and we get to save it inside the tutorials. I'm gonna save it right here and name it um, engine and right. let's see.
you can see that the export is completed and you have your engine animation right here. So you have two files. One is the engine animation GLTF and the bin file, which contains the data of the animation. When you use Zapworks, you will have to import both these files at the same time. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. All right, um, until then.